The Marine Corps made the decision to go to an all civil GSF. Um, we do that because we think it's important to have embarked Marines, not the military, and then the ships. And so I went up on Congress and they go, okay, uh, General, what's your plan B? And, and I it sounded flipped, but I said, our plan B is to try harder. So how's the aircraft doing? Quite frankly, in, in 2010, it wasn't doing very well. In fact, it's what got the aircraft put on um, probation, if you will. And I think it's, it was a decision that the uh, Secretary of Defense didn't make on himself. In fact, uh, Dr. Carter and the Commandant and ACMAC got together and said, hey, you know, we need, a, we need to give this airplane some time, some breathing room. So unfortunately, we used the word probation uh, on it. Probation has this negative aura around it. We looked at it as like, hey, this gives us two years to really kind of slow down, get the airplane right, because it had about five major engineering fixes that need, need to be fixed when you're building a new aircraft with disruptive, disruptive technology like that. Uh, every aircraft we build, you're going to find something, some problem with it, and this aircraft is no different. We found five issues, but we also found an engineering fix for all, all five of those issues. So the JSF uh, engineering fixes are on the, on the paper. Most of those, four out of the five, will be uh, complete and tested by the end of this year, by the end of December. The fifth one, the oxygen door flutter that, that we've had a problem with uh, right behind the big lift band door, that will be uh, completed and put on the aircraft in February. Hopefully testing will be done by February and March, and we'll be able to start putting those back in the production aircraft so we don't have those, those problems.